back. I've never actually done an unboxing before. Um, a lot of the time when I watch unboxing videos, I think, pretty cool. Anyway, um, I'm actually doing one right now because, uh, I don't know, yeah, right here, Coronado. Um, uh, Mead actually um, just came out with the new telescope, and this is it. So, it's kind of exciting. Um, I just wanted to open this up, take a look at the contents, and yeah, you can see what exactly comes with the telescope. It looks like another box. You know what? We'll just leave that in there and just cut this open. Go. Okay. More cardboard. All right. Ooh, very nice. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can. Uh, see if I can easily get this out. All right. Well, actually, let me just show you real quick. So, it actually comes packaged really, really well. So, here's the case right here. There we go. Um, yeah, it comes packaged pretty good. It's got these um, little uh, corner pieces um, to hold it in place. Well, it's shit. Alright, this actually gets here. damage done. I don't know if you guys can see that very easily, but uh, anyway, let's uh, change the view a little bit so you can see a little bit easier what I see. Alright, let's move those boxes. That's a little prettier, but uh, yeah, so there's a little damage on the bottom of the Let me uh, bring you in a little closer so you can... This case is actually a lot uh, more tough than I was imagining it would be. Um, Alright, let's open this up and take a look at the contents inside. Well, um... Right here, you've got the, uh, it's like the, yeah, it's the, um, user's manual, explains what everything is, but no one ever looks at that any, well, I don't anyway, I probably should, oh, oh, this is beautiful, okay, so it looks like on this side, we've got an eyepiece, Uh, the 18 millimeter. Wow, well, let's let's brighten that up a little bit. Uh, see if we can focus in on this. So yeah, the Coronado, Coronado eyepiece, uh, and it's an 18 millimeter. So yeah, pretty nice. All right. Okay, there we go. Um, I really like the gold <laughs> that. Uh, Gold's just beautiful. All right, I'll put this back. If I can get it. There we go. Okay. Just 
put that back in. And it looks like there's a little insert or a little, um, yeah, you can remove these little inserts to add more eyepieces. So it looks like there's um, room to add three more eyepieces. Um, any on this side? Nope. But here are the keys for the case. So that's kind of nice. And the actual telescope. Oh, wow. Okay, now this is the 70 millimeter double stacked from uh, Mead, their Coronado uh, line. Let's move this. Just to make this by itself. So apparently with this telescope you can actually remove uh, the filters up here. So we've got the double stacked filters up here along with um, the regular single stack. We've got a dovetail mount on the bottom. And oh, it's a little off. Let's uh, let's loosen this up and there we go. <laughs> I like when all my telescopes are line just right. Oh look, there's even a danger warning sign right there. There we go. So yeah, read the user's manual before you actually <laughs> use this. Okay, so what do we have? All right, so we've got our sun finder right here. We've got um, these so that you can actually adjust the orientation of your telescope whichever way you're looking. Um, let's move this back a little bit. Make it a little easier to see. Um, Alright, well, it looks like uh, it comes with a standard uh, one and a quarter. Oh, wow. Hello. So the blocking filter, it looks like. Oh, no. That's to adjust that. Oh, I can't. No, I can't. Yeah, it does come out. Okay. So, it looks like this is... I think they, uh, it's the 1500 millimeter, or what is it? The B... No. I forget what it's called. The, um... Nope, it doesn't say there either. Anyway, it's, um... I think the 15 millimeter. Um... But, yeah, that's actually pretty nice. It's a lot better than my little lunch, which is a the B400. It just, it is good for about photography, and that's about it. But, you know, it seems to do well for my purposes. Um, okay. This is just to adjust, once again, you can do it here. Looks like, yeah, you can do it there too, so... That, tightening that down locks everything down so it won't adjust and it looks like it's got a dual pinion focuser which is really nice you can really get a lot of really sharp detail with that and let's take a look at this front objective okay oh oh nice actually has little clippies just like a, a camera lens I was thinking I had to unscrew it. Most of them are unscrewable, so you unscrew them. So let's focus on this. Oh yeah, that is beautiful to see. Can you guys see in there? It's a little difficult, but yeah. Anyway, all right. Oh gosh, I need to lock that down a little more. It keeps it keeps rotating on me. Right. Okay, so, um, H-Alpha telescopes. How are they? Are they good? Are they bad? Oh, huh. Okay. It looks as if... Nope, nope, that's right. It is. Okay, sorry about that. Um, one more thing. Right underneath here, this is where you lock your focus. So just right underneath. Pretty standard. Most telescopes come like that. Um, okay, so, I'm assuming that this that these that these parts right here so the the uh, the brass right here these are the so this is just a single right here from from here on down 
and then it looks like it screws on right here for the second. Um, could be wrong. Nope. Actually, oh, it's right here. So the block is where it separates. So this is the double, double stack filter. So you can just unscrew that. Now what's kind of interesting is, so my LUNT that I have, my LUNT solar telescope, it's a, um, it's pressure tuned. So it actually has a piston on the side. Oh wow. That, oh wow, this is amazing. So yeah, the double stack, just so much, yeah, it just, uh, helps filter out so much more light so you can really get a lot more contrast when you're looking at the sun. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. And um, there's a couple different ways. Um, it looks like you can turn this for one way to uh, to do the, the tuning of the H-alpha spectrum. Like I said, uh, the the lunt that I have is a pressure tuned. Um, I I've actually been wanting a mead for quite some time now, uh, just because they use a tilt tilt um, a lot of the time. It's a little more fine. Um, I, I I feel like I have a little more control whenever I've used these before um, at uh, focusing. Well, um, you know, narrowing down on that uh, that band. Wait, wavelength of the H alpha, but anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, as you can see, it is a beautiful telescope, absolutely gorgeous. Cannot wait to try this out. Um, but yeah, I'll probably take some photos of it, maybe do a little bit of video, uh, maybe add that to this uh, unboxing. But anyway, there it is the Coronado um, 70 millimeter Solar Max 3. Let's see if I uh, feel like I'm holding a baby. <laughs> see if I can zoom, focus in on that so you can see. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so there it is. All right, my battery is almost dead, so I'll make this quick. Um, yeah, beautiful telescope. Can't wait to try it out. Can't wait to see what type of uh, images I can get with this. And best part, got here right uh, before the solar eclipse. So, yes, this will be amazing quite excited to use it. Anyway, uh, hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time.